Uh, it's a digital age and uh, every day there's new technology coming through. But how well are we positioned as Ghanaians to embrace this new technology? Because we can't miss out on this one. This morning I'm speaking to uh, past GMB 2014 queen uh, in the person of Bassi. She's here with us this morning to share with us something that she's working on, the Ghana Tertiary Digital Empowerment Tour. I'm excited about that. Hello, Bassi. Hi, baby. Uh, hey, how are you doing? Very well, thank you. How hey, you? I'm well, thank I you. I love too. your outfit. Thank you. You're looking good yourself. Thank you. <laughs> um, you started a foundation, Malolo. Yes. Yes, tell us about that. Uh, after you won the GMB 2014, okay. how has that uh, trajectory been? Malolo has been like my signature word. Mm -hmm. on the Ghana's most beautiful platform. After every presentation, Malolo. 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 <laughs> so Malolo simply means thank you. Mm -hmm. It's in Sisali. So after my crowning, I wanted a name that um, depicted my people and where I come from. So mm -hmm. I decided to go for Malolo Ghana Foundation. Okay. My own little way of giving back to society mm -hmm. and saying thank you for all the votes that mm -hmm. came True. to crown me as Ghana's most beautiful and also to help develop our country. Yeah. So it was established in 2015. Okay. We've done several projects. Within the first year, our focus was on promoting basic education. Okay. And over the past years, we've worked on health issues, okay. um, human rights human issues, rights. and so on. And which on side and so of forth. the country? across the country. So okay. I've been to the north, I've been to the upper west region, I've been to the upper east, I've been to Brongahafu region, oh, nice. Atebubu, yeah. I've been to um, the eastern region, mm. I, I've been to a wow. lot of regions. Yes. Wow, and how, how has that been like for you? Because coming right out of the house, you know, you just get on with your project. How, yeah. how has the journey been like for you? A bit challenging, but very interesting. Mm. and empowering mm, tell us about that. I, I graduated from UDS with a bachelor's degree in integrated community development oh, nice. so apart from the fact that I'm a beauty queen I'm also a community developer yeah. so I already acquired the skills and Indeed. yes so on campus it was quite easy for me to adjust but a bit challenging <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit challenging in yes. what sense like what exactly um, um, is, is holding you, you back have you have to meet a lot of people, work with different people from different cultures and mm -hmm. backgrounds. You have to seek for funding, which is the major challenge. Because okay. there are a lot of dreams that we have, a yeah. lot of goals that we want to achieve, but little resources. So mm. we just have to make you and use of the little available resources that, that, that you have. have. Yes. Okay, and uh, tell us one more time, what does Malolo mean? Malolo means Thank you. Hey, thank you. It's as simple <laughs> as that. You, yes. So thank you, Ghana, Ghana Foundation. Foundation. Malolo Ghana Foundation. No, oh, fantastic. Yes. So you talked about the fact that you, you know, you've been doing basic education and yes. then you switched over to other things like yes. health yes. and so on. So why are we looking at the Ghana Digital Tertiary, uh, sorry, Ghana Tertiary Digital Empowerment Tour? Sure. Yeah. Um, we live in a globalized village right now, whether we like it or not. Every day, you're on your phone right now. I'm <laughs> sure you've been on social media since mo this morning. Yes. Google came on board. I met a gentleman. The initial plan was not even to do this. We were oh, discussing okay. ECOWAS Youth Parliament and all of that. Okay. And out of nowhere, he's like, Buzzy, I went on your page. I think you'd be the best person for this. So oh, wow. we want to empower people. We want to empower job seekers. Okay. We want to train them to make the most of the internet. Yeah. You know, so I decided to um, research about it. And I felt that, okay, this is a good initiative. I'd love to come on board and contribute my quota to empowering these people. So. Oh, nice. That's yes. deep. So uh, what exactly are you doing as part of this tour? What's, what are the practical things that you are doing to empower people digitally? So we are going to these five selected institutions. Okay. Which uh, are... This is just the first phase. Okay. So we are going to University of Education, Winneba. Mm -hmm. We are going to UCC. Okay. We are going to Accra Technical University. Mm -hmm. We are going to UPSA okay. and then Legon. So okay. five for now. We intend to expand it and move to other regions in the future so okay so what are you teaching them and how to are, make who them exactly are your targets is it all the students job seekers students so it's not only for students okay but we are doing it on these campuses because we want the students to really benefit okay but it's okay. open to all so you can join us that's true you know it's free you don't have to pay anything okay so business owners corporate institutions yeah you can walk in and benefit from and this benefit. training so we're going to be discussing topics like um digital marketing okay how to promote your business Businesses on social media, okay. how to seek for jobs, and how to create a job worthy CV, mm. how to promote your personal brand, a whole yes. lot of things. 
Yes. So have you been through that training yourself to No, I'm go? waiting to so my trainers <laughs> are in. Okay. They landed from Nigeria yesterday. Oh nice. So I look forward to getting empowered myself. Yourself. <laughs> That's nice. So Google Google is coming on board. Yes. What are they bringing on board as well? So Google is giving us the trainers. So mm -hmm. we are partnering with them. So it's Mala Law Foundation in partnership with Edubox Nigeria okay. and Mind the Gap Nigeria okay. and is being powered by Google Africa. Google Africa. So the goal is to um, train 10,000 plus job seekers. Wow. So in Ghana, I hope that I get to train a lot of youth and their as well. Yes. Amazing. Uh, Edubox Ghana, uh, sorry, Edubox Nigeria, Nigeria, what do they do? I seriously really do not have, I, but it's an NGO. Okay. They are into empowering the youth. Okay. Um, so we spoke about a the project they are doing. I don't know the major foc focus, okay. but okay. I know that they are working on education, okay. granting scholarship to okay. brilliant but needy students. Okay. But there are a couple so more. So that opens it up yes. quite a bit for you. That's, that's very interesting. The Ghana Tertiary Digital Empowerment Tour. So why are you starting? University of Education, Winnipeg, mm -hmm. on Monday. So coming Monday, okay. um, from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Three okay. hours on each campus, yes. So central campus, okay. ground floor, conference room. Okay. University of Education, Winnipeg. So from Monday, we move to UCC on Tuesday, okay. 15th October, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Mm -hmm. Calc Auditorium mm -hmm. or Auditorium 900. So we move back to Accra and on the 17th, we mm -hmm. go to UPSA, 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Mm -hmm. Justice Aite Auditorium. And from there, we move to Accra Technical University that same Thursday from 2 p.m to 5 p.m. ATU Auditorium mm -hmm. and Climax at Legon, hey. 18th October, 18th 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. at the SRC Union Building. Building, okay, okay, that's very, very intense. Um, mm -hmm. What times uh, are they starting again from 10 a.m. to... The so from, for University of Education, mm -hmm. is from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. To 1 p.m., that's the one that's happening now? Yes, okay, on, on Monday. On Monday. Yes. But if we want more information so that we're able to follow the, okay. the tour. So you can go on to our website, mm -hmm. www.malololgana.org. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or follow me on social media, royal underscore Bassi. Bassi. <laughs> royal underscore Bassi. That sounds amazing. Yes. Uh, is there, are there any other projects that um, Malolo uh, Ghana Foundation is embarking on? There are a lot we are doing, okay. but like I mentioned, the challenge is um, funding. Mm. So over the years, I've been able to distribute over 10,000 exercise books to okay. over seven uh, districts across the country. Wow. We've been able to um, supply solar panels to okay. Tuluwe. Tuluwe is a community in the northern region. Okay. Their clinic didn't have lights, the school didn't have lights, yeah. so pupils couldn't study after yeah. school. So we decided to go in. I had sponsorship for that, so now the okay. whole community has lights. Solar panels? Yes, please. Amazing. Yes. So this was sponsored by New Age Initiative, so okay. thank you to them again. Um, wow. I've been the National Ambassador of Action AIDS and Child Marriage Project. Okay. We've been able to How rescue, mm -hmm. very challenging, because hmm. this is um, a cultural problem. Yeah. You go into these communities, we work directly with the traditional leaders, the teachers and the girls as well. Okay. We've been able to rescue 187 girls from child marriage. Wow. And the most the saddest part of this is that child marriage exists in all 10 regions across the country, even here in Accra. Wow. Yes, so we are trying our best and hopefully we'll be able to rescue more girls. More. How was the youngest, um, you know, age? Eight. Eight? Yes. <laughs> Eight? The youngest that I have witnessed. Wow, and how were you able to get them out? As, so for me, what I do is to empower these girls. Yes. We realize that one of the leading causes of child marriage mm -hmm. is teenage pregnancy. Mm. So I go to these schools, I talk to them, try to listen to them, their mm -hmm. problems, yeah. and try to find solutions to those problems. Yeah. We also target the traditional leaders. Yeah. Um, most of the girls, you just realize that the number one challenge is poverty. Yeah. So we, we try to cite them and let them understand the importance of education yeah. and that there is a bigger reward in the future. So they have to just take their time and keep on learning. Yeah. And, you know. Wow, interesting. But um, I think that this new project that you're um, embarking on is, is a very interesting one. The Ghana Tertiary Digital Empowerment Tour. Yes. Uh, the first one is starting on Monday. Uh, this is your camera. I want you to tell your audience something. Okay. I'd like to entreat everyone watching us today, make, um, come follow us to these campuses if you can, 
any of these five selected campuses from Monday 14th to the 18th of October, Friday, we'll be going to UEW, University for Education, Winneba, UCC, Cape Coast, then to UPSA, Accra Technical University, and final, we'll end, finally we'll end at um, Legon. So please make the most of this. You need to come, it's free. You get certificate of participation from my foundation, Edubox Nigeria, as well as Mind the Gap Nigeria. So. Oh, wonderful. Well, you've heard it. I've been speaking to Abigail Basiara Bentier. Bentier. Bentier Bassi, who is a GMB 2014 queen, doing a fantastic thing. Ghana Tertiary Digital Empowerment Tour. And I encourage each one of you to also be a part of it because you cannot let the future pass you by. Align yourself with the future so that you can also survive with the changing technologies and so and so.